And now to that harrowing crash landing on the Hudson River and the chilling 911 call made from inside that airplane just moments after it crashed and was sinking fast. Both the pilot and the passenger survived. ABC's John Muller has more on their harrowing story. You can hear the fear, a man who knows he might die. All right, the plane is, is, is definitely, we're going down, okay. we're going down. These 911 tapes from Sunday's emergency crash landing into New York's frigid Hudson River just made public. We're in the water, we're filling up. Okay. We're going to have to fail. We're going to go to the rear of the plane, okay. the plane is filling up. We're in the Hudson River. We're in the middle of the Hudson. The terrified caller is 43-year-old Chris Smith, the passenger on the Piper single-engine plane that took the plunge. The other person lucky to be alive this morning, the 39-year-old pilot, Denise Koch, who somehow managed to land the plane in the dark, frigid waters when their lone engine failed just minutes after taking off for a sightseeing tour. We are in the plane. The plane is taking on water. The plane is going down. Let's go. Get out. Get out. Get out. It's going head first. You can actually hear the very moment their bodies slip into the icy water. I'm going to lose you. I'm going to lose you. And then silence. Wearing life vests, passenger and pilot somehow survived almost 30 minutes in the deadly temperatures before rescuers pulled them to safety. I saw the victims in the water. They have definitely appeared to be in a, um, a stage of hypothermia, going into shock. Among them, an off-duty police officer and his 12-year-old son. My dad has always told me to be brave and never be scared of helping somebody. An odds-defying landing, a successful rescue. It's all reminiscent of that epic miracle pulled off by Captain Sully Sullenberger, whose crash landing in the Hudson in 2009 saved 155 lives. Now Smith and Coke can be counted as two more miracles on the Hudson. And this morning, pilot and passenger are out of the hospital alive and well. The plane remains submerged in the Hudson River. The NTSB is investigating what went wrong. The pilot did contact air traffic controllers and did make a mayday distress call before that plane crashed. Amazing stuff. Listening Logan. to those tapes, my wow. goodness, they survived half an hour in that Almost water. Almost a half hour, yes.